And the fact of the matter is, this is very good for America. The reason this is good for America, because America will be reminded that they have a clear choice in only a few months. A clear choice between the, well, let us say, let me put it another way. I thought about it last night in bed. And what I came up with was this. Which party, Democrat or Republican, do I fear more? Or which party do I fear less? I fear the Democrats more because under Janet Napolitano, they become a, a fascist dictatorship. Everyone is under suspicion. Everyone is afraid of being arrested. Everyone's running in fear from this woman and this tyrannical Department of Homeland Security. That's number one. So you say, well, will this end under Romney? My feeling is yes, it will. So which party do you fear less, number one? And the other question I ask myself is, which of the two parties do you think will grant us better a better chance at national security. There is no question in my mind, as I have pointed out in my best-selling book, Trickle Down Tyranny, there's no choice here. Obama has been an unmitigated disaster as an appeaser. He has made us less safe at night. I can give you a litany and a list of what he's done to destroy our national security. I absolutely know that I'd be safer as an American citizen under, under the Romney-Ryan ticket. I just know it. We'd have our pride back. We'd have our military back. We'd have a feeling that our flag is ours again, that it has not been hijacked by some renegade band uh, from Chicago and some left-wing wackadoodles that they dug up God only knows in, in, in which union halls. So let's go back to the primary questions. Which party do you fear more? Which party will give you a better sense of national security? For me, there's no question other than in the Republicans. Period. End of story. I fear this government in a way I never feared a government before. I never feared the Bush government. I fear this government under Obama. I fear them in the bottom of my soul. I feel I'm being watched. I feel they're spying on me. I feel they're spying on every American. And I fear that they absolutely distrust anyone who is a patriot. I know that they have a hit list of people that they're looking at. Returning military veterans are not their heroes, but their suspects. Radical Muslims are not their suspects, but the invited guests to their parties. You want me to go down the list? I'll be glad to do so for you. I have no idea why any educated person could ever vote for this man again. I have no idea why they ever voted for him to begin with, other than they were hoodwinked or they hated Bush so much. But on a more fundamental level, he is a liar. He's a liar and he's incompetent. Why do I say that? He came uh, into power as, a, as an anti-war candidate. And one of the first acts he committed was sending 30,000 fresh troops to Afghanistan and was still mired in Afghanistan for reasons nobody understands. Nobody knows why we are in Afghanistan, why we are training those renegades who are shooting our men in the back. I will never understand. Nobody has ever conquered that group of, uh, of uh, despotic tribesmen. Nobody ever will civilize them and turn them into a... Uh, uh, happy, happy faces selling Happy Meals. What we're doing there, to me, is a product of a runaway train. They have no idea why we're there, yet we're still there. But Obama was supposed to end the war. Did he end the war? No. He lied. Economically, the greatest disaster in American history has been Barack Obama, a man who, as someone in the media said, uh, Obama is just another arrogant Ivy Leaguer. Period. I think it was... I forget who, the, uh, John Cusack, who, is he an actor, a communist, a left-wing actor? I think it was John Cusack over the weekend said, is he just another Ivy League AH who does not even know what he is doing, right? Is that, what he's, is that what's going on in this country today? He seems to be another out-of-touch Ivy Leaguer, no matter what he does, is wrong. Because A, he's never run a lemonade stand. Everything Obama has, he was given. He's never held a job. He has never built a business. He has never created a service that anybody needs. He attacks those who build their own businesses. He wants to tax those who build their own businesses. And he wants to reward those who do nothing for society. The debt has topped $16 trillion. Don't blame Bush. The debt is $16 trillion. It has gone up $4.6 billion since this imposter was put in office by George Soros and the other bad guys.